Hello, good people. This is Jason Irvin, a.k.a. The Janitor, here bringing you another episode of Wash, Rinse, and Repeat. Now, today's Monday, May 6th, and we're going to continue with that security news to keep your security IQ high. And we got three good stories today, quick and easy, uh, but still brings you a little awareness of what's going on in the security world and kind of how it affects you and, you know, in your day to day. So the first story we have uh, has to do with um, a Dell application that is usually added on pretty much every Dell computer that is installed. If you haven't taken off all the Dell add-ons, you should have an application called, uh, what was it, Dell Support Assist. So Dell Support Assist is usually what Dell has on the computers to help, um, help you um, what is it? Monitor your system, your hardware, software, uh, kind of reports back to those guys and uh, they can help you fix different things on your computer, pull down applications and run small commands on like your Dell system. Now there's been a security researcher who found a way to take advantage of that application, the Dell support utility. And uh, if he, and, and the, the exploit goes basically, if you're on the same network, as uh, the attacker. So if you have a Dell computer in, let's say a Starbucks in a coffee shop or whatnot, and I look over, I see you have a Dell. I try to see if you have the Dell support assist on there. And I uh, end up getting into that stream between you and uh, you know, we're on the same network. So I'm able to um, alter that traffic. I will, I will then be able to basically take over that application and have you download a malicious program of my choosing onto your box to be able to take over your whole your whole system. Now, how can this be fixed? How can you not become a victim of this? If you're not using Dell uh, Support Assist on your box or on your day-to-day, -day, if you don't even know what it is, what I need you to do is on your Windows system is go to Start and then Add Remove Programs. So hit the, the Windows key on your computer and go to add remove programs, find the Dell um, support assist application that's on there and go ahead and uninstall it. Other than that, if you wanna keep it on your box, make sure you go to Dell and get an updated uh, patch uh, copy of it because it has been patched, it has been fixed. The researcher did uh, alert Dell before actually making it public. So that's a good thing. And make sure that the version number that you have is uh, 3.2.0.90. Anything above that is exactly what you want to have on your computer. So Dell uh, Support Assist has been, has been compromised. It can be compromised. Older versions. Now uh, make sure that you go and update your stuff so that you don't become a victim at your local Starbucks, all right? So the next second story is just me sending my condolences out to all government security uh, personnel that are dealing with the, the new mandate that just came down from DHS. So Department of Homeland Security gave everybody that, you know, in within government organizations, 15 days from the 1st of May to fix all, um, what is it? critical vulnerabilities, I couldn't remember that word, <laughs> to fix all critical vulnerabilities within their networks. So if you work uh, in a government agency or at a base or something like that, you should see all your security guys running around, patching things and making sure everything's up to date. And my condolences goes out to you guys. It's gonna be a busy 15 days, but it's a good thing to uh, keep our government facilities obviously up to date, patched and uh, not as easily hackable. <laughs> so um, good luck guys. I feel your pain. And uh, that's just security news. Like if you see those guys in and out trying to get those things taken care of, you're in those organizations, support them, let them get the, to the systems and make sure everything's patched so that we can all have a more secure government, USA. <laughs> all right. So then we have a very interesting story that I just couldn't let this one pass. And it had to, it has to do with 
Israel and Hamas. Now, we, we, if you don't know, Israel and Hamas, they are constantly battling back and forth. This has been for forever, as long as I can remember. But this story had to do with, had to deal with a cyber, a cyber attack coming from Hamas to Israel and the way that Israel responded. So Israel um, blew up an entire building that was filled with hackers that were um, giving or uh, creating a cyber threat to Israel. So for all those hackers that are doing whatever you're doing, good or bad, uh, and more on the bad side, going to jail doesn't sound so bad nowadays, right? Since Israel is now blowing up buildings with uh, hackers in them. So just found that story interesting and just wanted to give that to you uh, so you can know what's going on kind of around the world, how hackers are being dealt with uh, in wartime situations. It's not funny, but it is it is quite interesting that that's the approach that they took with that one. So uh, again, let's just recap real quick. Dell support assist utility. I want to make sure that if you're not using it, that you go ahead and uninstall it or go to dell.com or uh, google dell support utility and make sure that you get the updated version of that on your computer if you're using that um, as there's definitely a vulnerability where your whole system can be compromised with that and the second one had to do with uh, government dhs putting out that that mandate that all uh, severe se severe vulnerabilities on all government systems must be patched within 15 days it used to be again used to the mandate was 30 days but there's been a lot of um, nation state hacking this is a good thing to make sure that all those systems are secure and patched especially for those uh, severe vulnerabilities those critical vulnerabilities that are out there and available and then the third story was just a fun fact uh, good to know probably not good to know for Hamas but I guess Israel is taking matters into their own hands by completely uh, sending a drone and destroying a, a, a building that was uh, filled with hackers that were, you know, a cyber attacks and doing cyber attacks against, against Israel. So um, I'll have links to all those stories as usual below in the comment section. And, you know, it's a quick one. I'm back. I uh, took a little time to spend time with my family and, uh, you know, just kind of refresh the mind. But things are back we're gonna get stuff rolling again and you know if this if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe and as always stay focused never quit till next week see you next time go on.